For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed that in him might have life and have it in abundance. John 3.16 Hello and welcome back to my channel. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. How has your Monday true Saturday been? Hope is, hope is going splendid. Today I want us to talk about love which the opposite of love is hate but we're not going to be talking about hate it's love uh, have we taken time to ask ourselves that popular verse john 3 16 have we for once meditated on the words you see you do not give what you do not have you give what you have which is love. God gave us his only son to die for us so we might have life and have it abundant. Now the question is, do we show love wherever we find ourselves? Do we show love wherever we are? Love is a four-lettered word, L-O-V-E. Yeah, it's a very powerful word. Very, very powerful. Love can make the world a better place. If our Creator never loved us, He wouldn't have sent His only begotten Son. The love I'm talking about, I'm not talking about the one you give and you expect something in return, no. The love I'm talking about is the agape love, the selfless love, the love that you could show to anyone regardless who that person is. Whether the person is related to you or not, that is the love I'm talking about. The love you leave wherever you go. The love you should have within you. That selfless love. Have we thought about what is happening in our world today? It hurts real bad. When people are killed for no reason, bullied for no reason. When people are maltreated for no reason. At our schools, the killing. At our hospitals. In our communities. A lot of unthinkable things are happening. Have you asked yourself if we had a bead of love? All this would not have happened. But because everybody is so bitter in one way or the other, nobody wants to show love any longer. Nobody wants to show love any longer. Love should be the language we speak at any point in time in our lives. Love should be the full step we leave at any place we find ourselves. I want us to know that there is a particular thing that everybody has in common, which is called blood, B-L-O-O-D. It's red in color. I don't speak to you right now. It is the red one that runs within me. It's not the white one that runs within you. It's the same color. Then why can't we spread love? Why is there so much hate in the world when love should be the thing that is leading the way? Remember, if we could show a bit of it to those around us, to those around us, not minding their color, not minding where they are from, not minding what they do, the world would be a better place. It will be a better place. Love. It's a beautiful thing. How I wish a lot of us would think, would think and think deeper why we have to show love. When you show a bit of love, a lot of things will go well around the world. There is so much fight. There is so much hatred. There is so much aggressiveness. Nobody, I mean nobody, want to talk about love any longer. Let us take a break. Think about it and meditate about it. 
because we need love in the world we are in. The topic itself is a very sensitive topic, but it has to be talked about. It has to be talked about. The world needs love to grow. It needs love for our children to live in it. But when we do not spread it, what happens? Please, whosoever is listening to me now, and whosoever that is going to listen later, please let love be the language we speak. Let love lead the way so the world can be a better place. To my old subscribers, I cannot do this without you. Thanks a whole lot to those that are still coming on the way. Thank you. And to those that will subscribe today, thank you. Please share with people in your platform and touch a life today. Yet. Until I come away again, let love be the language we speak. Let it be the food we eat. Let love be what we live at anywhere we find ourselves. Do that that makes you happy, which is acceptable by the throne of grace. Peace. And let love lead the way.